Dr. Zakir Naik uh, is probably, probably the most dangerous man in the world today to Christianity because he brings hundreds of thousands of people to Islam, Mon many of them from Hinduism and also from Christianity. He brings them through just by these kind of videos that we're doing right now. He goes all over the world. He was to come here in uh, Britain last July. And uh, he was going to come. Uh, they were going to bring him down to Wembley Arena, which seats 12,000. They sold out tickets for his meeting in two hours. Now, this man is dangerous. This man is enormously popular. He knows Urdu. He knows Hebrew. He knows Greek. He knows English. He knows Arabic. He, can, he has memorized much of our Bible by heart. He uses no notes. And he tears our Bible to shreds, or he tries to, and he confronts the Christology of Jesus, he confronts the Trinity, he confronts, confronts the uh, whole, what they call the Pauline paradigm. These are amazing questions, they're great questions, they're foundational to everything we believe, and he's enticing and he's engaging hundreds of thousands of Muslims to follow his, uh, his example. For the read in Ezra chapter number 2, verse number 65, it says, there were 200 singing men and women. Nehemiah chapter number 7, verse 67, there were 245 singing men and women. Were they 200 or were they 245 singing men and women? Context is the same, a mathematical contradiction. It's mentioned in the second Kings, chapter number 24, verse number 8, that Joachim was 18 years old when he began to reign Jerusalem. And he reigned for three months. Second Chronicles, chapter number 36, Verse number 9 says that Joachim was 8 years old when he began to reign and he reigned for 3 months 10 days. Was Joachim 18 years when he began to reign or was he 8 years old? Did he reign for 3 months or did he reign for 3 months 10 days? Further it's mentioned in the first Kings, chapter number 7, verse number 26, that in Solomon's temple in his molten sea, he had 2,000 baths. In second Chronicles, Chapter number four, verse number five, he had 3,000 baths. Did he have 2,000 baths or did he have 3,000 baths? That I leave it upon Dr. William Campbell to decide, which is correct. There is a clear-cut mathematical contradiction. It's mentioned in the first Kings, chapter number 15, verse number 33, that Basha, he died in the 26th year of reign of Asa. And second Chronicles, Chapter number 16, verse number 1 says that Basha invaded Judah in the 36th year of the reign of Asa. How can Basha invade 10 years after his death? It's unscientific. In Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, to him was revealed the Injil. This is not the Injil. It may contain part of God, but the other unscientific portion is not the word of God. I would like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 7, which says, فَوَيْلُّ لِلَّذِينَ يَقْتُبُونَ الْكِتَابِ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ سُمَّا يَقُلُونَ هَذَا مِنْ إِنْدِ اللَّهِ لِيَشْتَرُوا بِهِ ثَمْنًا كَلِلَّا فَوَيْلُّ لَوْ مِمَّا قَدْبَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ وَوَيْلُّ لَوْ مِمَّا يَقْسِبُونَ Woe to those who write the book with their own hands and then say this is from Allah to traffic with it for a miserable price. Woe to those for what they write, woe to those for what they earn.